Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're gonna be looking at the Tashkent, the Soviet destroyer, Tier 9. It's almost stock. The only thing I have in top is the hull, and the rest, the turret traverse, the torpedo upgrade, and the range of guns is totally stock. Making some spoilers, I can tell you that finally I will receive almost 3000 of base experience, to be exact, 2962. In this game I will show you my winning tactics. I was playing in the evening <laughs> and maybe this is the reason why our allies and enemies were not playing at the top of their abilities. But who knows, maybe it was just a lucky game. It's very interesting. So in this game it will be a lot of drama, a lot of difficult moments, interesting moments and everything. Finally, I will be left one versus one, and the enemy destroyer will get by that time it will get Kraken. It means five destroyed ships, it means he is a very good player. But I was a little bit uh, on the lucky side of the game this time. You can see that I gave my preference to repair team, to, as we call it, heal, healer, healing, uh, instead of the smokes. And I think that Soviet history should be played like that, more aggressively. And my idea here is to protect Asasio or Asasio. And um, to be at the side or to the side of enemy battleships. And my main task or idea is to set them on fire as multiple targets as possible. I'm trying to play it, I'm trying to dodge and play with speed, so I try to approximately count that. I imagine that the time between uh, enemy battleship salvos is approximately 30 seconds, so I try to dodge or either to play with speed, so to stop and accelerate, stop and so on. This destroyer, as well as all other destroyers, has some benefits and drawbacks as always. And I think that the benefit is good shell velocity, maneuverability and speed, but the concealment is just terrible. Eight kilometers and twenty meters. I'm playing on this destroyer only to get some enough experience to open Delny, the new uh, Soviet destroyer, after receiving Khabarovsk, that happened a couple of patches a couple of months ago. And um, actually, Khabarovsk as an artillery destroyer has a lot of features of. Uh, so you can see how great this 
destroyer is when it comes to fighting one versus one in the close range with other destroyers. Yeah. Minus Akizuki. We are capturing base A, area A. And thinking about the next target, that should be Massachusetts, Yamato, or Zeton. Enemy battleship actually at such a long range can do almost nothing to us. Except we stand still. Don't want to risk. I need to capture the base. As you can see we are losing. We are losing by one destroyer and number of captured bases. And you know in this game that you will see later on, it's all about making decisions. And in this game I hope that I made right decisions. There will be an interesting moment when I was chasing the enemy battleship, but I gave my preference to stop chasing and my, stop my pursuit in the favor of capturing the base because we are losing time, we are well losing points. And finally, I guess this is this was right. Yeah, you can see that we can shoot at Yamata. Every second shoot can do some damage, not everything. I tried to set him on fire. No luck so far. And he even not shooting at us at all, his turrets are pointing somewhere else, far away from us. And... This is good for us. He even not trying to shoot at us. One thing why I don't like destroyers much is that you have to, I don't know how it's called, mouse clicker or something, so you should to shoot every three seconds and it's quite annoying or boring or irritating and it's, I don't know, and what kind of words should I find and choose here. So you can see Zeton is chasing, is pushing, uh, Yamato is moving, is following him, and they can't even hit us as a target. It's, for them it's quite difficult, because of range, because of the mobility. Minus Zitten, Yamada follows. Yamada yeah, has a lot of armor, but it's like slow, boxy. And um, yeah, this is the moment I was talking about. Massachusetts is a good target. It is large and slow, and it's she is not shooting at us. And this is the moment when I was thinking, what should I do next? Should I chase him, or should I go to the base B? You can see that. There are 6 versus 5, chances almost equal. But 
By the way, I can see submarines in the game, and I read that in the news, in the article, that in two patch from now, in July, uh, they are going to release a premium Japanese submarine. Its characteristics will be quite similar to any of DDs. Uh, it can hide under the water not for too long, only for two minutes, like if it was standing, hiding in smokes. I don't know. Actually, I don't play submarines at all, as well as super ships. I don't play super ships because I don't want to go minus every second time. It makes no sense. It's senseless. And I don't play submarines for the same reason, so I can't get any experience and I really tired of their nerves and ups and changes they make to the acoustics, scent and signals, hiding and so on. Yeah, this is the moment when I was thinking that what should I do? And I chose not to go after Massachusetts and Lexington that seems to be quite easy targets. And I decided to go capture the area's bases because we are losing losing by points. Five already versus five. And the time is not in our favor. Time works against my team. Yeah, the mobility of 45 knots it equals to some of almost to some of German and other torpedoes. So I am moving as fast as torpedo and I can easily change the flank, go up and down and everything. So I shoot without any punishment from the battleship and other ships. Yeah, Chirmo, this is the very dangerous opponent. Unfortunately in this fight I let him go. And it he is not shooting at me, he tries to disappear, not to be detected. He is shooting at our submarine, and he will destroy it. So this is the game that I will probably call and name as uh, One Step to a defeat or how defeat can be turned into victory. I don't know yet, but this is all this game is about. Can't aim precisely. So the angle of the ship is changing, it's quite difficult, yeah, so th this is when he stopped shooting. Yeah, the voice that you could hear uh, announced that the enemy team is about to win, great. 3 versus 4, 800 of uh, hit points already collected by the enemy team versus our 400. So we have Richelieu, Lexington, Massachusetts and Chernobyl versus Pusashi and Yamato that um, to the left flank. And I think that I have to focus on capturing area spaces. This is utmost important at this moment. Along we already destroyed two and a half complete ships 
I don't know, I think it's not a good result. Yeah, so this is the replay, this is the game about how effective you can be using your advantages. Uh, using the advantages in your favor. Try to set him on fire at least. Yeah, the ballistics of Soviet shells is quite good. 130mm guns. Very good. There is Chun Mu, but with his tap water torpedoes he can't do anything and I know that he has very little hit points left and I'm trying to search for him. And it will not be possible to land. Yeah, Massachusetts is also one shot guy. But still, you should never under, 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 underestimate your enemies. Because with his H high explosive shells, he can destroy us maybe in a couple of salvos. Maybe in a one of his two lucky. Uh, at this moment, when I started to shoot at Lexington, and once I will be getting closer to him, I will be very nervous. Middle. That was great. The enemy see has too too many hit points. Maybe I should have switched to high explosive. Who knows? I'm trying to hit his citadels, but from this distance, it's impossible for some reason. Or maybe I'm shooting not in the right spots, choosing not the right paths. Yeah, she would destroy our battleship. And two versus one, we have less hit points. It's a uh, one of the games that can be called good games. Well guys, so the game is coming to its end, yeah, here I was shooting and nervous and my heart was beating extremely because I'm about to die and I'm about to win, I want to be effective and I did my best and this is really very cool end of the game, this is a very cool, good, so this is a very good game. Yeah, if you like this video, feel free to like it, to leave any uh, comments below under this video. So here I should maybe send my torpedoes, but I didn't have enough time and I had to dodge a torpedo, so it was difficult to make the right decision. Yeah, and I hope guys to see you in the next video. Feel free to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. And uh, your support would be really very great promotion. that he set me on fire on oh, less than one minute left and we are losing by points and it's very nervous situation very very exciting moment
yes guys thanks for watching thanks for your time and see you later